Continuing coverage this morning, students preparing to return to Huffman High School just a couple of days after a 17 year old senior died in a shooting. And this development comes as school administrators are hard at work. They're actually revamping the school's safety plan. Yeah, CBS 42 News reporter Connie Gaskri live this morning with more on what's being discussed to keep children safe. Good morning, Connie. Good morning, Art. It's all a part of an ongoing process to, as you said, keep children safe in these schools. And as a part of this process, school leaders say they plan to talk to local law enforcement to develop enhanced strategies for school safety. They mentioned some of these things during a press conference yesterday, talking about some of their goals going forward. They want to identify opportunities to improve student safety. They acknowledge that metal detectors at the school were not in use on the day of the shooting, so presumably they're working to prevent that from happening again. The district superintendent says the school system has 23,000 students, and when one of them is harmed, it hurts all of them. We have not only heightened our procedures, but we are revamping and revisiting with this extreme amount of urgency those protocols, not just for Huffman High School, but for every single school in Birmingham City. And in the coming days, they'll have a greater police presence in and around the school, in addition to the school resource officers they already have. Beyond that, they hope to develop a more robust and strategic plan for school safety. And you'll hear more from school leaders coming up in the next half hour about some of the goals that they have for school safety going forward. Live in Birmingham, Count on Gasquee, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. All right, Connie, thanks a lot. Here's another safety aspect the school system is adding. It's a safety hotline. The number to call or text is 1-877-250-2830. Students will be encouraged to report what they know, what they hear, or suspect someone is planning. When they're trying to plan something harmful, all callers will be anonymous, and messages may be left by way of voice or text message. Well, we are continuing our